Traffic has been brought to a standstill as trucks transporting wind farm blades made their way across the Atherton Tablelands. Once built, the turbines are expected to generate enough electricity to power one-third of far north Queensland. Like something from outer space, but crawling its way through the Atherton Tablelands, the future of energy for the far north. I see a big truck. It's taller. Each truck carries just one blade, close to 60 metres long and weighing 16 tonnes, tackling a road loved by motorbike riders for its sharp turns and steep incline. Students in the small town of Walkerman, southwest of Cairns, couldn't concentrate on schoolwork. Instead, they lined the road to wave on the convoy. The blades left the Cairns port early this morning, embarking on a 200-kilometre convoy which would take six hours. They had to pull over regularly for other vehicles to pass. Residents, too, were drawn to the roadside. I think it's a good idea. Anything to help with green energy and stuff like that, I think I support it. It's great. Construction has already started on the $380 million wind farm at Mount Emerald. 53 turbines will generate 180 megawatts of power by late next year. The company claims the Mount Emerald wind farm will generate enough electricity to keep the lights on across one third of far north Queensland. Most in the region are supportive, but there are a few who don't want it in their backyard. There's a long way to go on this project and there's a lot of evidence that they need to produce on this project as well to make it see that it's so wonderful and great. Moving the blades will take time too, about six months, enough to stop traffic for some time yet. Christy Sexton-McGrath, ABC News, Atherton Tablelands.